Hi guys, this is Sam here from the Photographer Academy and I'm just here to give you a quick uh, introduction to a new feature from our friends over in Animoto. Um, they have recently added a brand new feature uh, to allow a marketing style video so as well as a slideshow style video. So I'm just going to give you a quick overview of uh, the features that are involved in that and how to put one together so you can quickly and easily um, create social media adverts and videos. Uh, using their templates. So the first things first, once you've logged into your account you go to create and you're going to see that you've now presented with two different options. You've got your regular slideshow video which is the old style Animoto stuff there. We also have this new one here which is this marketing video. There's some great features in here so we're going to show you how to use those. So as with the other one you would hit create. It'll take you through to a series of templates that you can use to start to create your videos. So they have these things called storyboards, which is a new way of putting together your videos. So this allows you to put in uh, video clips, longer video clips than in the slideshow and stuff. But uh, on this first page, you can see that they have created a few different options for you to choose from just to get started really quickly. So if you want to share something, tell a story, you know, showcase, these are designed to give you kind of an optimum look for a particular use. So you can see there's 12 basic pre-built storyboards you to choose from uh, but you can also choose to start from scratch if you want to create one of your own so I'm going to do that I'm going to start from scratch and this will give you then five different styles uh, that you can choose from now the styles you can see if you just hover over them it'll play and you have a little read there it tells you each one has its own kind of uh, crossfades and different text options and transitions now at this point you really need to decide what it is that you're trying to do because once you start down this path and you choose a style you can't go back and change the style at a later date so you would need to restart the whole project so really have a think about what it is you're looking for and um, the little descriptions here are very helpful so what I'm going to show you I'm going to actually use do like a boudoir style one as our example today so for me the glamour one kind of makes a lot of sense it's got the flares and it's got like kind of more stylish text and that kind of stuff so I'm going to click use style on this and then it should process that through and we will get the new look okay so this pops up and you now have this as you can see it's slightly different to the old style rather than the little box and all that kind of stuff you've got this storyboard element here which tells you the runtime and then you can add in individual blocks to start to create your video. So if I click add on block you can see they give you five different types of block here. So you've got the basic photo which is similar to the old photo thing. You've got some text, video. So these are all basics, very similar to what the old uh, setup used to do but then you now have these new special ones. So you have a collage one and a logo one. So I'll go through these in more detail once we start to drop them in but basically obviously collage allows you to put multiple images in and the logo allows you to animate a logo within the video itself so that makes things a lot easier so I'll just get rid of that for a second um, and then as you can see down here on the left hand side you have your uploader same as the old one uh, and you create in an assets pool you also have uh, your choice of fonts so each style comes with its own little choice of fonts um, you can't at the moment unfortunately upload your own fonts but I think they are working on that but you do have a choice of fonts that fit within the style that you've chosen and then you can set your text color and your background colors in here as well and then also you have your music so same as before you go through and access all of the the library of music choose the one that you want to do and then you can set the volume here as well so I'm just going to quickly upload some assets for us to use. So if I just open up my folders down here, I go to my desktop. Um, as you can see, I've got boudoir clips here. This is a, you know, a key part of this is prepare all of your uh, assets and the stuff that you need for your video straight off. So you can see we've got a series of clips here, that are all kind of taken from a, a boudoir shoot that Mark did. We have a selection of images that we would like to use as well, and then we also have our logos. So you see, I've got two different versions of the logo here, and I will explain why I'm going to do that. So I'm just going to. There's two ways to upload. You can drop them in, drag and drop, same as the old system. Yeah, obviously they go in really quickly there. You can see, and then you can also use the upload function up here as well. You can just click upload and it will take you through to a browser 
the same as you would before so again Buddha our clips images so I just select all of those video clips and hit open and they'll upload now obviously the video file sizes are a little bit larger than the stills uh, that they used to use um, I think the limit on the file sizes at the moment is 400 megabytes so that is going to take a little bit of time to upload so I'm just going to let this process and then once they're done I'll come back to it so guys that uploading is finished now so you can see I've got a full uh, complement of assets here so we've got our two logos that we put in at the start our selection of video clips and I've also gone ahead and imported all of these still images which is exactly the same process so I'll quickly walk you through the different types of blocks and the kind of things that you might want to do so with regards to like layering your you know in a video you traditionally start with a logo and then you might have some clips and then some text and so we'll go through all of that so if I just click add block and I start with a logo block so you can see I put in two different types of uh, logo here one is a JPEG and one is a PNG and that's because Animoto actually recognizes um, whether it's uh, got a transparent layer in or not so one of the things, first things about the logo is there's actually two elements to each logo slide. So if I drag that in you can see there's an outer element there but it also selects the inner element. So you can see that that logo has the white background and it also has a, a coloured background behind it. Whereas if I drag this logo over it, it actually layers the logo over the top of the background which is really useful because you can also, as well as having a solid colour background, you can drag an image in and use that as your background as well. So that's just a basic layout. If you want to make any adjustments to a block like this, you just go to see more and it'll open up this editor. So you can then select the image that's behind it, drag that to a more suitable framing, and you can also select the logo and you can uh, just adjust the size of that there as you would like it to be. So again, so then you just hit back to storyboard and if you hover over it, it'll show you what the animation of that particular slide is. So you see it flashes in, it goes up. I might want to hold it for a little bit longer. So you see there's a, a slide here that says, oh, a little section of slide that says three seconds. If you click on that, we can just up and down because it stills, it will set the actual uh, length of that itself. So we can add text to that and we can do it, but I'll, it's the same on all of the slides. So I'll show you on one of the next ones. So if I now click add block, I'm probably going to want to go into a couple of video blocks first. So if I hit video, so it defaults to 10 seconds, but that will adjust depending on the length of the clip that I drag in. So I'm going to basically do this as if it was a quick overview of a session. So I'm going to look down here. I'm going to find my clips of Mark talking to the client. So we'll start with um, this one here. And at this point, I'm just going to, you see that's adjusted now to five seconds. I'm going to quickly just build like a miniature story about what we're looking at here. So uh, they're looking at this. So we'll show the detail shot and then we'll go for a reaction shot as well. So the same as any video, when you're starting to put this together, this is the same as building your clips on a, a timeline. You, you're thinking about the story that you're telling. Now we can adjust each of these videos uh, length so 5 seconds 12 seconds 9 seconds you can see we're already up to 30 seconds so it's going to get a little bit long so if we just click into see more again select the video and then we have the option we can zoom the video but I would avoid doing this as you will get pixelation so unless you've got quite high-end 4k footage or something I would avoid that but you can select trim and then that will you can play through the clip and then you can select which section you want so I can drag in this start bit here until we start to get the sideways movement. And then I can drag this down. It's probably down to about three seconds. There, so you can see this is actually our total runtime here. Hit apply. And that's now three seconds. But the great thing is I don't have to keep nipping back to the storyboard. If I want to adjust the next clip, I can just click on it and it'll jump straight through then. So again, select and trim. So I'm just going to go through until I get to the bit where she clicks. So there we go. So we'll get her scrolling down. And then once it clicks and opens up, it clicks. And there we go. Stop there. So that's another five second one. So apply. And then we'll go to this final one again. We're looking for a reaction. And then we'll go to trim again. And I'm looking through for Kelsey's reaction. So there you go. So she's, yeah. 
So Mark's talking, she's laughing, great. So again, we'll drop that down to about three seconds and apply. So we go back to the storyboard. We can see now we've got our videos all in a line and we also have this uh, 15 second run, which so we've halved the amount in there. Now if we go to the next block, I'm now going to add a collage that shows the types of images that they might have been looking at. So this defaults to a two image collage. So I'm going to go down and select two images. So let's just select one like that, and another one like that. So you can see again, just hover over it, it'll show the animation. But you know, the framing is not particularly great on this one on the right hand side. So again, click see more, and then we go to change layout. You can see we've got two, no cropping, three, four. So you've got a selection of different images there, but we're going to stick with two. But we are going to select each image and then change our framing slightly so we're just going to do that drag that one a bit further over now you can zoom the images slightly as well if you just want to adjust the basics okay so i'm happy with that let's go back to the storyboard and now we can see again if we hover over it three seconds again i might want to extend that out to four seconds and then we're going to add a text block. So I've already prepared a little bit of text over here. The various things you might want to say. This is quite key, so I would write exactly what it is that you want uh, beforehand. So you get it right. So we're going to go Control C on that. Control V. So now we've got the text slide here, and you can see it's got a basic animation. It's like a flash animation and the text on a, quite a plain background. Now again we can make adjustments to the length of that text with the little add and minus buttons here and if we go into the text options there you can see we can change the text and we can add a subtitle. I'm just going to leave that as is for now. And then finally I'm just going to cover the last one which is a photo block. So if we add that again just dragging in an image, so we'll choose this one here. Um, one of the great features about this at the moment is you can add text over any of these blocks. So I'll quickly show you how to do that. If you just click the little text uh, icon and type whatever it is you want. So just type, I don't know, you know just so you can have the, the random words kind of floating over stuff if you like that kind of look. And then if we hit see more, we can select that text change the color of it so red is the uh, icon that we're using so we'll go with red on this we can adjust the size we can also adjust its position within the bounds of the image itself so if I hover over it you can see we get the little arrow and then I drag you know it will only let you do it to the edges or to the center but you know there's quite a few options there. as you can see it snaps to it automatically so we could put that down in the bottom corner and again and reframe the image as we like. So if we hover over it again we can see the animation there. Again in only two seconds I'm going to extend that out to four seconds. Um, just quickly before I forget on the logo options there are uh, other options as well as for the animation. So if I click into see more uh, you'll see we get this option to change the text uh, as we would before but we also get this little L with a swoosh which is change animation so if we click that um, as with the previous type of animoto when you ever put a, a logo on the front you get this selection of different uh, animations there's a focus animation a slide the zoom zoom out yeah you just select whichever one looks best so I'm going to go with a focus one and apply that so if we go back to the storyboard you can see that's sort of adjusted there you go let's change that so I'm quickly going to just run through and drop in a load more blocks and create a very basic uh, video layout and explain some of what I've done for you. Um, so I'm going to quickly do that and then I'll come back to you. So welcome back guys. I've now put together this very basic layout. So you can see there's uh, a good mixture of video and text and images and all of this, uh, ultimately what you're looking for is what is the information you're trying to convey. So for this we're trying to talk through the uh, experience of being you know, in the studio, so selecting the image, the type of images that they like, 
being you know relaxed and comfortable in the session showing good variety and all that kind of stuff and then the keywords as well so um, getting people about all ages shapes and sizes putting that it's a gift you know the key one here is the call to action book a session now so whenever you're designing these videos that's kind of the key things you need to be looking for and you can see at the end here as well always put in lead for them to follow you because they've got to know where they're going to find this stuff so I'm going to extend that out to much longer than the other ones so that it's on screen for a decent amount of time so you see if I'm adding that up there it's just adding the seconds at the top you can also see there that you can add text over the video so I've just to show you there I've put the some of the words directly over and again with the images as we did before. So once we've done all that, that's all together. The only thing that I really need to make an adjustment to here is the overall kind of font and colour of these text slides. So if I just go to the customise design, I can now flick through the fonts that are available within this style to make those changes. As I said before, you are limited to the fonts at the moment that they've given you and those are style specific, so um, decide on that beforehand. Have a look through all the different styles and choose uh, what it is that you're actually after before you get into this process because, like I said, once you've started, you've got to restart everything if you want to change the style. So we're going to just whip through the... which one am I happy with? I quite like that one, it's quite light, it's not too intrusive. Um, we're going to set the text colour to red to match with everything else and the background to white to match with everything else. So again, good consistency throughout, so the text is the same, the colours are the same, keep it all nice and consistent. And then the final thing is we're going to choose some music. So again, as before, you just go through to select the song, you're popular for photography, and then again you've got to set your volume so there's a little slider here and if you just hit play on the music there you can listen we can slide that up and down so so yeah, I don't want it too intrusive but you know that's all good the one final thing that I haven't mentioned but it is possible you can if you go to any of the slides see this little microphone here you can record a voiceover that go uh, over each slide it is however you can only record it like to the length of the individual block so you would need to really be aware of that uh, if you record it over a set of images it will extend the images out to fill however long you're talking for but if you're trying to talk over a piece of video and it's only three seconds long you've only got three seconds to do that so you would click there and hit record and you can record it through any kind of uh, microphone that connects to your computer. I'm using a USB headset here, this would be perfect. But anyway, uh, if we just finish all that up, we can now hit preview and we should see the final piece. So I'm pretty happy with that, so I'm just going to hit produce. As before, you get the same options, so we're going to call this Boudoir Confidential Marketing Video. Just hit Finish, and that will process the same as it would with one of the old slideshows. I've been Sam for the Photographer Academy. Thank you for watching.